How it's made, Tesla Gigafactory. In today's society, most of the energy we use comes from fossil fuels, and indeed the transportation industry is the most concentrated area of using fossil fuels. To be precise, 95% of fossil fuel energy drives all people and goods on this planet. At the beginning of March 2015, the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of the Earth where each of us lives exceeded 4 ten thousandths for the first time. This is a very important milestone, especially when you look back at everything that has happened in the past few hundred years because this is not only the first time in this era, but also the first time in recent hundreds of years of history. It was a million years ago that the concentration of carbon dioxide was close to such a high level. Change is accelerating and it's incredibly fast. To a large extent, this is the result of the massive use of chemical fuels as energy sources in today's society. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel How It's Made. Before jumping into the video, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to our channel. Also hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever we upload a new video. That said, let's begin. An overview of Tesla Gigafactory. 12 years ago, in 2003, Elon Musk founded Tesla Motors. Tesla built an electric car around a battery pack. Tesla's mission is and was to accelerate the global transition to sustainable energy through increasingly affordable electric vehicles and energy products. Gigafactory currently manufactures Model 3 electric motors and battery packs, in addition to Tesla's energy storage products Powerwall and Powerpack. You know, at the time, this was a crazy idea. Nowadays, Tesla has been given various titles, so it is easy for everyone to forget how it was when it was founded. The making of Tesla Gigafactory. The challenges Tesla faced. In the beginning, they were a small, unknown company, a company with a group of Silicon Valley engineers trying to create a brand new car. This seems like an absurd idea. No one put any investments with Tesla. For a long time, Tesla's financing was very difficult. However, when the company survived that period, indeed they finally succeeded in financing. As a result, they produced the first product that can be marketed. This is a very encouraging innovation adventure, especially when the company saw customers participate, act with them and take risks together. Of course, its creation is more than just a vision. The company needed some opportunities and time to allow them to create a product that can stand out from the fierce competition. The 21st Century Major Shift At the beginning of the 21st century, a major shift was completed in the field of battery technology. At this time, Musk created Tesla. The company seized this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and tried to do something unique, whereas the battery has been around for a long time. It is a technical device with a history of more than 100 years. Lead-acid batteries were once an energy-saving battery in most people's minds. It is a battery that people used to start gasoline cars. This was also the battery used to drive electric vehicles in the early days. They are very bulky and have little capacity. If you use it, you will not be able to create an electric car that is competitive enough in cruising range. However, this situation was changed after the new lithium-ion battery was invented. Through it, they can finally imagine an electric car that is more efficient than a gasoline car. Lithium-ion batteries were not invented for automobiles. Yes, they were originally invented for the manufacture of electronic consumer products such as notebooks and mobile phones. It all started in Japan and South Korea in Asia. They are the birthpiece of the commercialization and industrialization of lithium-ion batteries. Tesla used lithium-ion batteries early on. To be precise, Tesla Gigafactory is the first company that tried to adjust the laptop and mobile phone batteries into the car. This is an extraordinary idea. At that time, a bunch of people lined up to tell us what a terrible idea this was. The real challenge lies in how the company can guarantee the safety of these batteries, how to ensure that they can produce benefits, how to control this new type of chemicals, and apply the powerful performance they can provide to an unprecedented product. Tesla used one of the battery packs that the Tesla Gigafactory tried and finally equipped in the Roadster in the early days. It is a very large flat battery pack. Its shape is unique, but it gives the car a good sense of operation, and it's armed with electric cars. I mean, it makes electric cars perform better than gasoline cars in many ways. What makes them stand out is that basic technology, chemical materials, science and research are still being developed, which can fundamentally make the battery more powerful. The Creation of Roadster When the company started to create the Roadster, the technology has enabled the Roadster's performance to double the two series of electric vehicles that General Motors tried in the late 1990s. This was manifested in that the Tesla let Roadster achieve a range of 200 kilometers for the first time. In the early days, this was very magical, and it was the result of many sciences, inventions, and projects accumulated in the past 10 years. People often ask when the next breakthrough or major event in the battery field will happen, but it didn't happen like that. At that time, high-capacity batteries were manufactured thanks to the accumulation of hundreds of small inventions. When Tesla started selling the Model S, it was still being continuously improved. Performance increased by 40% again. 
When the company look forward to the next generation of products, the third generation products, they hope that the performance of the battery can still be increased by another 40%. These improvements may not seem large, but they are the basis for these electric vehicles to become better, because they are related to how they effectively control costs and how many people are willing to buy the company's electric cars. How the Tesla Super Power Plant was born When the production scale of electric vehicles expands, the number of batteries Tesla need will also need to increase. It was very exciting to have such a large electric vehicle market and so many electric vehicles in the world. Now, about 100 million new cars are sold every year in the world, and they only produce about 50,000 to 60,000 cars every year, which only accounts for a very small part of all the cars in the world. The company have developed and used approximately 4 billion watt hours. 100 million watt hours is equivalent to 100,000 kilowatt hours of electricity on each lithium ion battery. In any part of the world, this is the battery pack with the most energy running on the road. Unique. When they look forward to 2020, which is the end of this era, Tesla thinks there will be nearly 1 million electric vehicles on the road. Their drive requires a total of about 70 billion watt hours of electricity. Remember, 2 billion cars were dating on the roads of the world at that time. Therefore, of the 2 billion, 1 million is only a small part, and 70 billion watt hours is a huge value for the current battery industry. Therefore, every time Tesla see any changes and developments in batteries and battery materials, they are very excited. South Korea is the world's largest producer of lithium ion batteries, and battery manufacturers such as LG, Canon, Samsung, and SBI all belong to South Korea, which is very exciting. South Korea is followed by Japan and China. However, the growth of lithium ion batteries is currently mainly driven by a variety of different forms of consumer electronics, such as notebook computers, mobile phones, and tablets. In the next 5 to 10 years, they will see a very big change, that is, new technologies and new applications will greatly promote the development of lithium ion batteries, a degree of advancement that electronic consumer products will never achieve. One person buying Model S is equivalent to buying 7,000 batteries, and one person buying a laptop is equivalent to buying 3 to 4 batteries. Therefore, compared with consumer electronics, consumers of electric vehicles have increased their demand for electricity by several magnitudes. And this is only Tesla's apparent demand, let alone the consumption of the entire world. In 2014, Tesla's demand for lithium-ion batteries only accounted for 10% of the world's total demand for lithium-ion. But in 2020, this proportion will exceed 100%. But obviously, it is impossible to exceed 100% of the world's total demand. Because the companies still need to produce laptops, mobile phones, and other electronic products. Therefore, such a large demand for energy storage is both a huge challenge and a huge opportunity. To seize this opportunity, the company must reflect on how these batteries are produced. Since they were invented, they have been produced in a way suitable for electronic products. The company believes that batteries are already very suitable for vehicles or power grids, so what they do is reimagine or imagine a large factory. In this factory, they are carrying out vertical integration from start to finish to produce batteries at a much lower cost, and then use them to expand the scale of production. Therefore, Tesla can use unprecedented speed to reduce car prices. Tesla calls it a super factory. The super name is because it is a gigawatt hour, 1 million kilowatt hour energy storage unit. One such factory plans to produce 35 billion watt hours, 35 million kilowatt hours of batteries per year, which is the equivalent to the world's battery production in 2013. This is a very huge factor. And that's it guys. Let us know if you found this video informative in the comment section down below. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. See you in the next video.